Hello guys, this is Jana from English Buff and today we are talking with you about the possessive case and genitive case in English grammar. This video is created on my student's request as he found it really confusing. Let's take a look with you at two sentences. My friend's house is not far from me. My friend's house is not far from me. Do you see the difference? Do you know why it is so? If you don't know, then continue watching this video. The possessive case shows ownership. It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> With addition of apostrophe s, or in some cases just apostrophe, uh, a noun like a person, a place, or a thing will become a person, a place, or a thing that owns something. There are a few different ways to form the possessive of a noun. If a noun doesn't end with an s, then add apostrophe s, to the end of the noun. This is Mary's flat. This is Bob's cat. This is Jane's bicycle. So we add apostrophe s. And this is Andy's room. If a noun is plural but doesn't end with an s, then add apostrophe s to the end of the noun. These are children's toys. This is women's bathroom. This is men's department. People's views change. But when the plural ends with an S, we just add apostrophe. This is boy's bedroom. My parents' house is a lovely old one. Whoa, you can't come in here. This is the girls' room. We also have some cases when a name ends with S. So what do we do in this case? Do we add one more S? Which one is correct? Chris chair or Chris chair? Actually, both ways are correct. If a proper noun ends with an S, you can just add apostrophe or an apostrophe with an S. So we can say, you are sitting in Chris chair and you are sitting in Chris chair. Is investing in James's company and taking it global. When we have an ordinary noun like friend, by the possessive form we can say whether the friend is only one or there are many friends. So we can say this with the help of the apostrophe, actually the position of apostrophe. When we are talking about one friend, you just need to add apostrophe s. My friend's house is not far from here. I mean one friend. When we are talking about many friends or two of them, we just add an apostrophe. My friend's house is not far from here. By this I mean that in this house two of my friends live. Or maybe more. Friends should be friends of friends, friends. When we are talking about two people who jointly own one thing, then we make the possessive from the last noun. Um, Amanda and Mike's car is very fast. Or you can say Mike and Amanda's car is very fast. The order doesn't matter. The last noun takes the possession. We put apostrophe s after each name to show individual possession. Amanda's and Mike's cars are really fast. If the meaning is clear, we can use a possessive without the noun after it. For example, her hair is longer than Jill's. Whose bag is this? It's Jane's. If a possessor is a building, object, or piece of furniture, you don't need to add an apostrophe to show the possession. The maid cleaned the hotel room. 
but not the hotel's room. We met in the office lobby, but not in the office's lobby. Shut the car door, but not the car's door. We use off with abstract nouns or inanimate things. The windows of the house, the wheels of the car, the cost of living, and the price of fame. And who knows the capital of Argentina? However, when we refer to a certain place or time, the possessive is formed as follows. At the bakers, at the chemists, at the butchers. By adding apostrophe s, we emphasize that we are talking about the shop. At Dave's, at Susan's, we mean house or flat. We do the same with the length of time, specific moment or event. Today's news, to hours drive, to years savings, an hours delay, and today's work. We can use either apostrophe s or of when we talk about places or organizations. Rome's population or the population of Rome. NASA's headquarters or the headquarters of NASA. Is it clearer now? Or do you still have questions? Write me your feedback in comments below. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. See you next time and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.